So hello guys, this is Romkart and I'm back with another video after a long time. So today I'm going to review the color OS on my Redmi Note 10 Pro and let's first talk about the overview and first impression. So this is the ROM and I installed it uh, for a month I guess and it's running really smooth. So first of all, let me show you a quick overview. So this is the quick settings panel when it is on single quick settings panel and you can change it from here if you go to quick settings you get split and classic and in both of the options you get more options so in split when you swipe from here you get the quick settings and you get the notifications from here and talking about the responsiveness and smoothness and also the stability you can see this runs like typical color OS you get that super fast flagship animation which you don't get in any of the custom roms and also not in the stock rom of this device which is miui i mean miui 14 i guess so the rom is very snappy and the performance is really good and the stability is really good and the main thing is the battery backup so the battery backup is even better than any other custom roms which really impressed me a lot so let me just show you the widgets so you can access the widgets from here you get these things in chinese however this rom is not completely indian that's why you are seeing this and you get other options like wallpaper icons layout just like you get in the stock roms in realme ui stock firmwares in all other smartphone brands and you get the transitions and if you go to more you get the features so here we have the home screen you can set with drawer or without drawer and these are the options that we have you can optimize the animation and here are the other options you get raised to wake which is not working actually so yeah and talking about the quick settings panel this is the typical quick settings panel if you edit this you get these options and yeah you don't get the nearby share so that is a flaw of this room because that is a useful option that we were that we use in every file sharing work so these are the tiles that you can add and these are the modified tiles by me and if i click on three dots you get customized quick settings and it redirects you to this page and talking about stock applications we have the miui leica camera where we don't have the 60 co mp mode which is a drawback but the other options are working fine and i have also installed two other gcams and we have app market brino and other stock applications like hate app cloud etc the typical color os application that we get in stock color os in the realme or oppo devices which you can actually uninstall by few commands and i could not run the unto the benchmark test because it le it requires at least 15 gb of storage free on your device and at the time of running the benchmarking application i had around 10 gb of storage that's why it could not run and currently my storage space is really low so i could not run the test and i did not do any benchmark however the performance is really good you will get really good scores i guess so now let's talk about the rom in detail so first of all you get the about device and in about device you can see this is redmi note 10 pro like this and all the features and informations here in, if you go to version you can see the kernel is 5.4 strix interstellar so the kernel version is different but the kernel is added with matching the compatibility so the version is different and the android version is 15 you can see and this is it um let's move on we have the system and update and in system and update we have software update and in software update one thing you have to keep in mind is to keep the auto update off both these two settings turn them off and we have the other settings like keyboard input method etc and the refer phone enhancement services google settings etc and we have ai so we get all the ai features that we get in color os stock color os i mean and then we have the head app cloud wallet and payments in applications we have app management app quick app app cloner app auto launch etc and we have battery and in battery i would like to say the battery backup of this rom is really better than any other custom roms and that's great and in battery mode you get few modes which is high performance mode power saving mode and ultra power saving mode 
So if you set to high performance mode, you will get really great performance, but a really less battery backup. It shows the stats like this and the typical screen on time with my 74% battery health is around 4.5 hours, which is really great because in custom ROMs, I do not get more than four hours. So that's the thing. And in password and security, we have this UI and talking about the face unlock, the face unlock is not working, which is a bug in this ROM. And in sound and vibration, you get the typical UI like this. And for putting the phone in mute, you can turn on the do not disturb from here, or if you want to make it in vibrate mode, set it in vibrate mode you can turn the volume down so it will be in hybrid mode and you can again turn it on that's it and in haptics you get the system haptics key presses etc and we get clear voice and ringtone message tone etc and yeah if you want you can also use these settings to change the mode of the device sound and in wallpaper and style we get this ui and you can set always on display and the always on display works like this and you can set the seamless which will look like this and you can also use any other AOD skins so this one looks like this and let's check this so yeah it looks like this you can set your custom text and you can also choose from other options you get a bunch of options you can see like this so let's keep it off for now and we have these options then in connection and sharing we have VPN, private dns for four devices etc so in this rom we get the dynamic island so the notification will be popping up here so when you turn on the torch it will be showed here so when you click on it and you can turn it off like this and it will be visible here and when you are in a call like you can see it will be shown here and also if you connect a device with the hotspot of this then that will be also visible here that's a good feature and this is it about the ROM and talking about the smoothness I already talked about the smoothness how smooth the ROM is it's fluid smooth you can see and I could not record the video at 60 FPS or I could show you how smooth it is it's really seamless and this is it and talking about the safety net and prevent application and play store root then other settings starting with the root the rom is pre-rooted with kernel issue so you have to install the kernel issue next and you can use this version 1.0.9 which is working in this rom and if you go to modules you can flash modules from here you can grant root access from here talking about the play store when you install this rom the play store will not be present so you can search for play services and you will get play services somewhere in the settings but i got a pop-up in the quick settings panel to turn on the play services so you can also turn on from here from there and you will get the play store but in play store the device it will not be certified so you have to use modules and for modules i used two modules to fix the safety net but that's a different thing I will talk about that later and these are the google applications and we do not have the circle to search in this rom you can see and the recent looks like this so this is it and one thing i forgot to show you i mean few things so when the screen goes dark i mean dims out we have a little bug so let's wait until the screen goes dark so you can see when the screen dimming turns on this area is really dark this area is little brighter this one is a little more brighter and this one is brighter so that's a bug don't panic and yeah this is it there is nothing more about this room the power menu looks like this and yeah if you want to know more about this room then do let me know in the comment section i will definitely try to reply that and we get viper i hope you noticed already and also we get the dolby in this room so yeah there is some extra things in this room if you really want to know you can comment below so before ending the video let's do a quick gaming test and this video is being recorded at 60 fps so let's do a quick let me show you a quick animation test you can see and here is for play store so yeah the animation is really fast and 
let's jump to the bgmi so the graphic settings in bgmi is super smooth extreme so we get maximum 60 fps and you can see we are not actually getting 60 fps even in the team death match so in battle royale the frame rate will be definitely less than this in hot drops But you can see we get playable frame rates. So you can see we get around 40 to 45 fps even after setting the frame rate to 60 so this is the gaming performance that we get in this room that is not too good or too bad the frame rates that we get are playable so this rom is not actually for gaming it's a ported rom so it's better for using in daily basis or giving a trial to a custom rom just like that now quickly let me show you the installation of this rom so first of all you need to remove the screen locks then restart the device into recovery for that i need to hold the volume down button so you will definitely need a recovery here i am using the orange fox recovery and you can also use twrp or pitch black recovery but my personal recommendation will be orange fox so you need to remove the screen locks i did not remove the screen locks i'm just showing you that's why it's requiring password so first of all the things you have to do is go to so the first step is definitely the backup if you have backup then you can proceed then you have to wipe the Dalvi cache data and metadata and swipe and it will process like this then go to the folder where you have saved the file for example it will show like this the rom zip just swipe to flash again it will process like this then go to format data type yes hit enter and the phone will be fully formatted that's why you need a backup when the format is complete it will again show something like this then just reboot to system and your phone will boot in colorways so it's that simple so yeah this is it for this video if you found this video helpful Make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to this channel i will see you next time bye bye